Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Nathan Nowak, and I hope you're doing well. Today, I'm here to talk about how we can use an orchestrator like Prefect to connect Airbyte to other tools in our modern data stack. So uh, first of all, who am I? Um, I'm Nate. I'm a software engineer at Prefect on the integrations team, and I also happen to be the resident Airbyte nerd at Prefect. Um, contributed a couple connectors earlier on in Airbytes history. Um, so I'm a big fan of the tool. Um, I got my start uh, at University of Michigan studying chemical engineering and physics. And that was also where I got exposed to Python, um, used it in academia, and found my way into consulted data, uh, consulting data engineering. And now I'm, I'm building interfaces at Prefect. I'm a big Python fan. Um, outside of Python and work, I'm a guitar player. I, I love cats and cat memes and chess. So uh, let's get into it. Um, how can we use Prefect and why should we use Prefect um, to extend the function of Airbyte? Well, there's a couple of reasons. Um, I guess let's take a step back and talk about what Prefect and orchestrators are to start. Um, Prefect in particular is a Python framework that helps data engineers, data scientists, and people of the like to build pipelines, uh, deploy them wherever they need to, and then configure them remotely. Um, and it's all just using simple Python that a lot of people are, happen to be familiar with in this space. Um, so why would you use Prefect alongside Airbyte? Um, and I think we can look at that through a, a pretty common use case. Um, which is you have some raw data sources that Airbyte's really good at going and grabbing, and you want to drop them somewhere like Snowflake, some data warehouse, and then you want to run DBT on that raw data when it lands. And um, lots of times what people will do is they'll run Airbyte um, connectors on some regular interval, maybe every 15 minutes, and then they'll stagger some DBT transformation on a schedule to run 15 minutes after or five minutes after on the same interval. And so you end up with a period of time between when the data lands and when it's transformed, where it's just kind of sitting there. And you also have a situation where if for some reason your Airbyte sync fails and you don't get raw data in your warehouse, you're probably just gonna run your DBT anyways because it's on the schedule. So that's a bit of a waste of resources. Um, and you also have that latent time where your raw data is just kind of sitting in your warehouse um, getting stale. So Prefect is a way to, um, eliminate that latent time, as well as eliminate redundant operations like running DBT on stale data. Um, it also provides a framework for observing your workflows and where they fail. And uh, in that vein, raising um, issues to where they need to be seen when they occur. Um, and also you can handle failures automatically because stepping in at some hour of the night to fix some data pipeline yourself can often be terrible. Um, so let's look at the nuts and bolts of how we might use Prefect um, in a simplified um, manner. So Prefect Airbyte is Prefect's integration with Airbyte, which uh, you can use with open source Airbyte instances, um, given that there is a API to interact with for um, open source Airbyte instances. And so in Prefect Airbyte, we have a couple pieces of functionality that are really useful. Um, the big one is that we can trigger syncs just with Python code. So if you have some defined sync uh, between some source and destination, maybe GitHub to Snowflake or something, um, you can just go ahead and provide that connection ID, um, provide the IP address of the Airbyte instance, and you can just trigger it um, in Python code. And the nice thing about that is that you can chain events to that piece of code. So maybe you want to do something before you trigger your Airbyte sync. Um, and then you only want to do your Airbyte sync if that thing before succeeds. Um, you can do that. Another thing that I have here in the code is what if we want to run our DBT immediately after the sync is complete and only if the sync is complete. Um, that's exactly what this code is doing. So if we look, we have this trigger sync. Um, and if that works, we go straight down to the run deployment, which is just going to run a previously configured dbt job, whether that's in dbt cloud or CLI. And you'll notice that we have an accept block here, uh, which is going to say if our Airbyte sync fails for some reason, let our data team know in Slack. And that's one of the many ways that we can respond to failure. Um, you can be more proactive 
um, and actually do a retry of the of the original sync. Um, but the idea is that you can define a manner in which you want to respond to failures such that you don't have to manually intervene in the future. Um, and that can be really useful. Uh, so this here is a very toy example. Uh, in practice, you'd probably want to trigger many syncs of a similar type together and then run the associated DVT downstream. But this is, a, I think, a great illustrative first step into how you can construct an end-to-end -end data pipeline in just 25 lines of code that without a framework like Prefect would take probably many hundreds of lines of code. Um, so this is the, the main, uh, this is the thick of it. Um, and there's a lot of different ways you can go from here. Um, I would encourage you to check out the rest of the Prefect Airbyte collection if you're a Python developer and are interested in um, automating bits and pieces of um, your Airbyte data practice. Um, there's also stuff in there like for syncing your open source instance configuration to an S3 bucket or something like that. So that you always have it backed up. And with that, uh, looking forward, we're excited to extend Prefect Airbyte and prefix integration with Airbyte in general. Um, once there's a public uh, API interface for Airbyte Cloud, we're going to we're going to build prefect um, our prefect collection into that so that we can trigger works um, connections in the cloud. Uh, we can do all the configuration management that we do with the open source version in cloud as well, um, as long as that's useful for our users. And in that vein, um, if you're using Prefect Airbyte and you have any suggestions of what we should do, or if you'd like to see different functionality, please let us know in the issues. And yeah, I, I'm a heavy user of Airbyte. I've recommended it to many clients. I love the tool and I'm appreciative of the opportunity to speak to everyone about uh, Prefect and how it can work with Airbytes. And I'm excited to extend the connections between those two tools in the future. So um, I appreciate all of your time and yeah.